what is going on everyone in YouTube? I got a little uh, surprise for you guys. Vlogging with my cell phone today. So we had a new machine right here. This big boy that you guys see. This is the biggest mill we acquire. I saw off today. As you can see, we're pretty uh, packed. Pretty packed with machines. But uh, the thing that makes this machine so unique is that this machine has a pallet changer. Uh, meaning that that little box that you see right there automatically feeds the mill. So the mill now doesn't have to stop for operators to unmount the pieces. Basically we have two pallets right there. We have one and one inside the machine. We have two pallets. I'm going to show you how it works. So we have two pallets and once the machine finishes what's inside the machine, that little door that you see right there actually opens and now that pallet the little silver thing that's there that's going to be loaded with vices comes in while the other one comes out so once the machine is done with whatever operation is doing the pallet comes out so our operator can unmount the pieces while the other pallet actually goes inside the machine and the machine can continue working now this is very very big and very very fast so let me show you guys colombia how you doing let me show you how this thing works. Let's see if one of our engineers can uh, help us out here and give us a little demo. Mr. Juan, yes, sir. can we do an, an, another demo of Vena now? This is for uh, YouTube. So, so here one of our greatest engineers is going to give us a little demo. So this is the pallet changer. There's a pallet there. Um, ultimately, they're going to have vices on top with the pieces and we have one pallet right here. So check this out. So the pallet goes, there it is. Now the other one goes in, the table switches. The pallet goes in, it comes in, the machine positions itself, the door closes, and the machine can start working. Now, the cycle repeats over and over and over. Now I'm gonna give you another view from this point. Uh, so this is the end of the machine Now you're gonna see that gate is gonna open It opens pallet with parts comes out Supposedly the machine finished the cycle the new one comes in the machine position itself the bed position itself to receive the pallet Now the new pallet comes in and the machine starts the operation all over again the door closes now once quality control the best once uh, the pallet is outside our operator can actually start out mounting the pieces and setting up the pallet again with more parts so this machine never stops now this one like I mentioned before is pretty big I don't know if you guys can gauge the size but it's pretty pretty big and I know the sound is probably horrible because it's always super loud in here but we just got that machine in order to uh, expedite the production of the sign. Now we have a surprise for next year, but we're not gonna talk about that. So we can actually run more science. It actually allows us to become three to four times faster in the production of that operation. Uh, Pitbag says, thank you for sharing this. No problem. Dear Farmer, Texas, how you doing? Where you all from guys? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about this technology. Um, I don't know of a lot of other tattoo machine companies that actually have this technology in house at their disposal. We only manufacture for ourselves. Um, this is very new for us as well. I mean, we've been doing this since uh, 2012 manufacturing in house uh, before we used to work with shops from around uh, the neighborhood. Now, you know, we have our own shop. So we learn something new every day. That's a new toy. Uh, we're trying to maximize and get better at what we do and um, minimize the, the wait time, the hold up. So just to provide you guys with better tools, quicker tools, and also faster innovation because after a while everything gets, gets old. No. Right here, once the machine is done with what the machine is doing, everything goes here. And now let me show you. This is kind of, uh, this is just the raw part, right? The raw part that comes out of the machine. And, uh, 
it's waiting for quality control as you guys can see this is daily production so so far today this is what we have done and we use this uh, the, the egg uh, the egg crates because it actually keeps the part there away from chipping and you know banging against each other so once it passes quality control which is inside then it goes to buffing and I'm gonna show you guys buffing right now some of you guys have seen it in other videos I'll show you guys in this video again share this video let me know what you think about this madness and um, okay so I'm right now inside the room close the door so this place um, to, to get in here you have to wear a hazmat uh, head to toes as you guys can see right there you have all the masks and all the all the hazmat suits also you, the masks have respirators and the reason why is because there's a lot of uh, dust flying now we are going to bring robotics to some of the, the, the polishing however you know there's still going to be the human component about the polishing so now let me show you guys this okay boom and there we go so I see as you guys see blah 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 this is the way they work eight hours a day polishing we can see here in action a gorilla ergo perfect That's how it goes. So that's that. Now, this part will go back to quality control. And as you can see, some parts don't pass inspection. So this one has a little scuff in there. So this part is going to come back here for rebuffing. And if it cannot be rebuffed, it's going to be thrown away for recycling. And um, these are some parts that are ready to go. These are gonna go to the anodizer. These are Cyanese grips. Uh, and here we have some motor housings. And uh, now nah, it's okay, man. I've been here many, many times. If I'm there in, the, in and out, if I'm there in and out, nothing happened. Now, if I'm gonna spend 10 minutes, then yeah, I gotta worry about it. So I've been doing this in 2012. I'm still alive. <coughs> gotta grab the phone from there. So. Again, they still there figuring that out. So I just wanted to show you guys what it takes to make machines and why sometimes things can get a little bit slow or there can be a little delayed. So check this out. Christmas, we got the tree there. The building is about 21,000 square feet because it's this building and then there is another building that's over there. And right here, we have electronic engineering. And the department is not going to show you much, but boom, boom. But here are the geniuses working the magic. Boom, boom, boom. Can show much. Quick, 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 quick. Oh. What is it? Oh, yeah? I already see. Yeah, buddy. Some punk in Brazil actually uh, decided to copy what we're doing, but that's what it is. That's what punks and people with not creativity do. They actually steal. So I guess a punk, and you know he think it's cool to do this. But anyway, guys, support those that support creativity, and screw those copycatters. Screw all creativity always. You know. Just like those artists that copy art from other artists and rip off portfolios, and the same thing goes on in manufacturing. Copycatters everywhere. They always want, you know, an easy path to success. And that's what it is. Now we're in the other building. Look at this guy. We got Rick and Martin right here. For customer service. And I want to finish, guys, showing you a little bit of assembly for the day. Everyone is working here. Now this is the other building. Got 20 builders, 10 and 10. Boom, the army. Anyway, so I hope you guys had enjoyed this video and just drop your comments below. Let me know what else you wanna see. I'm willing to make more videos and show you guys the 
in and out of machine making. So until then, guys, I'll see you later. Take care. I'm going to finish the video.